I just want to take a brief moment to reach out to anyone who might be going through some difficulty in life or experiencing any sort of heavy or unsettling emotion like grief or anxiety, frustration or depression or whatever it might happen to be. And to reassure you that it's okay to feel whatever you happen to be feeling at this moment. You don't have to be positive all the time. I don't care how spiritual you think you are or how awake or evolved or whatever. This is just a natural part of this human experience. These feelings are all natural responses to the difficulties that we all face in life. And I would encourage you not to deny these feelings, not to bury them, not to push them away, but to simply allow them space to be felt and experienced without judgment, without criticism or condemnation, without resistance of any kind, but just allowing them the space to move through you and allowing yourself to experience them, giving yourself permission to feel. It's okay to feel scared sometimes. It's okay to feel frustrated. It's okay to feel sad. Whatever it is that you happen to be feeling, it's okay to feel it. Just allow it to be there. There may be this tendency in some of us to condemn these feelings or even to condemn ourselves just for having them. But I want to encourage you to be gentle with yourself, to be kind and compassionate at this time, and to approach these feelings with compassion, surrounding them with loving kindness. You might think, how would I respond to someone else, someone who you really care about? How would you respond if they were going through whatever it is that you're going through? Would you criticize them for it? Would you think less of them? Would you speak harshly to them? Or would you approach them with compassion and understanding? Would you perhaps hold them gently and lovingly with kindness, just allowing them to process this experience, not rushing them, not judging them, but just being present with them, holding space and offering compassion? And can we do this for ourselves? Can we simply hold space for ourselves in this way with loving kindness, with gentleness, with patience and acceptance, and with understanding? Whatever emotional distress we might be experiencing at the moment, can we surround it and embrace it with loving kindness? And this is not to say that we cling to these feelings, that we wallow in them. This is simply about allowing them the space to be experienced. And in that space, there is neither grasping nor pushing. I think Muji has a very wonderful analogy for this. He suggests that we treat these feelings like visitors, like travelers on the road so that when they come to visit, we simply open up a space for them. We sit with them, we listen to them, we show them compassion and kindness, but we don't invite them to move in with us. We let them come and we let them go. And they will go if we let them. Sometimes they just need to be heard. Sometimes they just need someone to listen. They just need to be seen and acknowledged and treated with love and kindness. And once all of that has occurred, they tend not to stay around for much longer. But in the meantime, we just allow them to be there. And allowing is very different from clinging. It's a whole different quality of attention. Usually we cling to these feelings. We get all wrapped up in them, entangled, engulfed, and suffocated by them. But to allow means that we make space for them. And in some sense, this also includes some space between ourselves and the feeling. That is, we recognize that the feeling is not us. It's just a passing phenomenon, passing through the field of our awareness. And that we are that field of awareness, which is so much bigger. And so we don't allow these feelings to define us. We recognize that they are temporary and transitory, that all throughout our lives we experience a whole variety of emotions. 
but the one who experiences these emotions remains constant and unchanged. The same one who experiences sadness also experiences happiness. So we are not defined by these feelings. We see how they shift and change, how they arise and subside, and yet we remain the witness to all of them. And with this recognition, there's no need to grasp onto any feeling, nor the need to push it away, but just allowing it to pass through this space of awareness, taking whatever time it needs to come and go. Sometimes a feeling passes very slowly, or it may feel as if it has come to rest with us for a while. And if that's the case, to simply allow it to be here for the time being and to relax with it. And when I say relax with it, what I mean is that we let go of any resistance we have in regard to it. And it may seem counterintuitive. Our tendency is to try to get rid of these uncomfortable feelings. We try to push them away or escape from them. But that never seems to work. Oftentimes, it just creates more agitation and distress. But if we can relax with it, just allowing it to be there, what is interesting is that they tend to diminish. They tend to eventually go all on their own. But this is not to say that they go immediately or entirely. They may go only to return some time later, but they will decrease in their intensity the more that we simply allow them rather than resisting them. But in the meantime, this is really about holding space for these feelings, just allowing ourselves to experience and process whatever that feeling might be and to take whatever time we need to just be with it, to experience it, to observe it and to feel it and to be kind to ourselves throughout all of this, to be gentle, to be patient, to embrace ourselves with loving kindness and compassion. If you find value in this content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.